The Kaduna State Election Tribunal handling case between Honorable Issa Ashiru of the People's Democratic Party PDP, the Governor of Kaduna State, Dr. Uba Sani, or Progressive Congress APC and the Independent Electoral Commission, INEC, has closed the pre-hearing session to begin hearing. Details in this report. So to the second respondent, Governor Obasani had earlier asked the tribunal to dismiss the petition brought by the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Mohammed Ashira Issa. In the motion for dismissal filed before the three-man panel, the lead counsel to the governor, Bayo Ojo, SAN, argued that the petition, having suffered an incurable procedural error, is deemed abandoned by laws guiding adjudication. He brought an application that the petition is incompetent and also the pre-hearing notice issued by the petitioners in the PDP case is also incompetent. The court has had all parties, the petitioners and the respondents, and they will give their ruling at the future date. It's filed out of time. The law allows you 21 days and they filed outside 21 days. And the law says once you do that, the petition is gone. And also the law gives time within which for you to file your pre-hearing notice. They also didn't do that. So we pointed out to the court. As the court will rule, that's for the court to do. We cannot preempt the court. The Council to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and its candidate, Samuel Atong, kicked against the motion for dismissal, explaining that they have applied for pre-trial as provided by the Electoral Act. Yeah, what transpired today is, uh, was a continuation of the pre-hearing session, which, uh, to the glory of God, has been concluded today. It means that uh, the cost is now cleared for the hearing of the petition. Those applications are still pending. They've reserved ruling. They are going to communicate dates for the rulings, maybe in the course of the hearing. You know, the provisions of the Electoral Act as to when ruling in preliminary objections will be delivered is to the effect that uh, it can be taken together with the judgment. To us, they welcome the government to not only to PDP but to the people of the state and to justice in Nigeria because we are talking of real issues, many of the issues. We are not talking of technicalities. So technicalities should not and cannot overshadow the issue of many of the issues. The people of Kaduna State voted and they have their votes and they know who they voted. Therefore, any attempt to use technicalities to deny them of what they voted or who they voted they amount to interest in history. Because the ordinary person in the village who casts his vote for PDP did not think of anything that's called technicality. Not be given the mandate based on the victory. Based on the victory. So this is the reason. So we feel very satisfied with that. And to us, it is a very, very uh, in, uh, uh, is a demonstration of confidence. However, the PDP chairman expressed confidence in the tribunal, saying that using technicalities rather than the merit of the case will amount to injustice. No date has been fixed for hearing. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.